Hello, Deputy Jessica Pilton with the Bartholomew County Sheriff's Office and School Resource Officer. I'm excited to read Chapter 5 with you and The Trouble at Table 5 by Tom Watson. So turn to page 34 and it is titled, It's Not Weird, It's Awesome. So here we go. Rosie sat at the, t the kitchen table with Simon. She could see the confusion on our faces. We had no idea what her plan was. Don't worry about it, Rosie said. I've got it. Simon and I will take care of step two, getting Principal Shelton out of her office. And Molly, you're sure you can take care of step one, getting in trouble? I'm sure, I said as I put three pieces of bread into the toaster. I'm going to use toilet paper. You'll see. Are you okay with getting in trouble? Simon asked. No, I'm definitely not okay getting in trouble. I explained and shook my head. But what choice do I have? I need to know how many Skittles are in that jar. That's way more important. Okay then, that only leaves step three, counting those Skittles, Rosie said. She crunched her mouth to one side a little bit. She was sort of talking to herself as much as to us and she was twirling her hair again. How can we do that? That part should be easy, Simon said. With Principal Shelton gone, Molly just dumps out the jar and count, starts counting, right? No, Rosie said and shook her head. Step two gets Shelton out of her office, but I don't know how long she'll be gone. Plus, there could be people hanging around outside the office, Miss B or somebody else. Right, Simon agreed. Molly needs to find a way to count the Skittles really fast. I don't think I can, I said, picturing that jar on Principal Shelton's desk. I got a jar of Mom's homemade raspberry jam from the refrigerator. There must be hundreds in that jar. Rosie snapped her fingers. She can snap extra loud. We could get a separate container, something smaller, Rosie said, explaining her idea. She's good at math, like really good. We could get a styrofoam cup or something. We could go buy some Skittles and see how many fit into the cup. How would that work, I asked. I gave Simon and Rosie each a piece of toast and set the raspberry jam on the table. Well, let's say 127 fit into the cup, Rosie said, using her empty hands. She pretended to pour Skittles from the jar into the styrofoam cup. Then, when you're alone in Shelton's office, you can see how many times it takes to fill the cup. Like maybe you can fill the cup three times and then there's 14 left over. That would be 127 times three, which is 381 plus 14 could be 395. That would be way faster than counting 395 Skittles individually. How do you do math so fast, asked Simon, spreading jam on his toast. I don't know, Rosie answered modestly. I'm weird, I guess. Simon said, it's not weird, it's awesome. Something about Rosie's idea didn't work for me and I guess she could tell. Rosie asked, what is it? It just doesn't sound very precise, I said. I wiped some raspberry jam from the corner of my mouth. Mom's raspberry jam is really good, but sticky. I mean, it won't be the same number of Skittles in the cup every time. Sometimes it will be 127, but other times it might be 129 or 118. There's no way to be exact. Simon said, but you would know that they're pretty close to 395 Skittles in the jar. You don't want to be pretty close, right? Rosie asked. Right, I confirmed. I have to know the exact number, otherwise what's the point? Rosie and Simon are, are such good friends. They didn't answer why I had to be exact. They knew it was important to me. It was just as important as eating my food and even numbers are only jumping in the leaf pile after every single leaf was raked up. They understood. Okay, Molly has to get an exact number, but she also has to be fast, Simon summarized. How in the world can she do that? We do need to be exact, Rosie said and paused. She held her half-eaten toast midair in the right hand. She twirled some hair with her left hand, but we don't have to be fast. What do you mean, I asked. I know how to do it, Rosie said. Simon asked, how? Rosie explained how she figured out step three three, how to count the Skittles, and I thought it might just work. We only needed to do two more things before launching our mission the next school day. For the first thing, I went to the sink and turned on the hot water. Rosie brought me the jar of raspberry jam. Simon ran to the store to do the second thing. So that's the end of chapter five. I hope you're enjoying reading along, and I'll see you soon. Bye!